Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I will present about the gamma ray sterilization What is gamma irradiation? Gamma irradiation is a process that use cobalt 16 radiation to kill microorganism on a variety of different products in a special design cell Gamma radiation is generated the decay of radioisotope cobalt 16 with the resultant high energy photon being an effective sterilant. A key characteristic of gamma irradiation is the high penetration capability which allow for delivery of target radiation dose to areas of product that may be higher in density. The process or mechanism of the gamma ray. The radiation element of gamma ray is emitting Y rays, which is photon. The characteristic of photon are create ionization event needed for sterilization. Second, can penetrate deeply into product because of having very short wavelength, and photon also make them an excellent sterilizing agent. This is the example of the overview of the gamma ray. The explanation of gamma ray mechanism or process of sterilization. Every year, sterilization occur over billion single uses in medical device. This product, which is medical device, carry microorganism that can be inactivated before they are considered safe for patient use. Dosimeter, which is radiation measurement device, is placed before the exposure to the gamma sources. The product is exposed to cobalt-16 for validated period time. Dosimeter is measured to confirm the product has received the validated dose. Next, how gamma ray kill microorganism? Gamma ray kill microorganism by breaking down bacterial DNA. Gamma ray also inhibiting bacterial division. Not also that the energy from the gamma rays pass through the equipment and disrupting the pathogens that cause contamination. Why gamma ray break down bacterial DNA? It is because of the process of killing bacterial. When the division nucleus is done, so the bacteria is die or inactivated. So, why we use cobalt 16 in sterilization process? It is because of first high penetration power, second suitable for all type of material. Third, it is method that is reliable and lastly accurately controlled. As conclusion, the gamma ray sterilization is related to our industrial life. It also needs to sterilize products that are heat and moisture sensitive and cannot be sterilized in an autoclave. However, using ionizing radiation or penetration power for sterilization is not practical. It can be very dangerous if used improperly. After all, if it can kill bacteria, it also can kill human. I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you.